whether it's ski or sun, slopes or sand, fly from Norwich this winter. The Pink and Show, sponsored by Flybee. I think what he's trying to do is he's, he deems it has been his club. He was there for 10 years and he wants to try and rally everybody. But it's only normal. So um, nah, I don't think that's going to have any effect. The one thing that will happen is players naturally um, who maybe didn't get an opportunity before he was there will deem that they've got a chance now. Players whose position they would have thought would have been relatively safe under the previous regime might be thinking, I need to prove my sort of worth, if you like. Um, and it's funny how players then apply themselves in that scenario because you'd like to think that up until that stage you should be gaining 100%. I mean, but for some reason, it seems to change. That's a general feel wherever you go, not just because they've got a new manager. I mean, you want to go there, frustrate them. And in the, the day, you want to win the game. So how you can do that is, is key. So we'll, we'll go there, we'll set up how we're going to set up. We'll go there, work as hard as we can. And hopefully we'll be in the right end of the result. And then it will just make them quiet in the same time. I believe that it'll, it'll, our performance will determine how the game goes. Do you know I mean, that's what I honestly believe. So I think if we play as well as we can, then hopefully it should be a good afternoon. Have you noticed... Any difference in the manager's demeanour in the last two weeks? No. Nah. I mean, you also, you, you're asking the same question when you see him in about 10 minutes and he'll give you the same answer. There's nothing changed. The pressure comes from outside and the, the stuff we do on a training pitch, we come and work hard every day and that's something that won't change. Is that a key then? Because if you know, the, a manager is, is you know, con- consistent and then all of a sudden they start changing it because things aren't going right, would, would that almost spread and uh, be unsettling to the squad, do you think? Would it? Well, I, I suppose it would do, yeah, I, I wouldn't really know, but um, maybe some managers would do that. I've not seen it, so I, w- I couldn't really answer sort of how, how that would be, but we've come in, it's been the same every day. The routine's been obviously the same with different sort of aspects of training and stuff like that, but as I said, every, it's the same It's the same way it was a month ago, two months ago, and we was winning all the time as it is now, so we just know we need to go out there and change the results, and as I said earlier, that these questions will get changed into positive questions, and it'll be a positive atmosphere. Michael and sort of Martin Olsen fall into the same category, where we've been sort of patching them up to a certain extent um, for games, because they've had, well, different issues, but issues nonetheless, where they've not really managed to train all week, um, and then we're sort of getting them ready for the game, so... Um, both really were, were sort of precautionary just to make sure that we could have a bit of time to work with them and get them into well, a better state really for the games coming up. It's, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it so much of a pressure. It's, it's a hunger to win. Like We haven't, we haven't won, we, we, we want to win. At the end of the day, it's our family, it's everyone. We, so we need to win for us, not for everyone else. That's, that's, that's the main thing. We, as players, we don't go and lose a game and think to myself, oh, that's all right, we're all right next week, we're all right the week after. When you go out and lose on a Saturday and you go home, you're not happy. I mean, people might think you are, but you're not. So to come in there and sort of get the wins that we need, it, makes it, it's a, it does make it a bit happier in the change room. It makes yourself happier because you're getting the results that you go out for. We work all week to go and win the game. So when you don't win the game, that's a massive disappointment. So we go out there and work as hard as we can all week. We want to win that game and that's what we'll be trying to do. I would say that Alan Irvine came in in the summer to help. Um, make you more solid and improve defensively as well as experience. Right, okay. so, I don't know. That's my opinion. You'll tell me if I'm wrong. I know you will. But um, has has it surprised you that you've had these defensive issues recently? Um, yeah, but I think I think we've got to we've got to understand that we don't just defend as a back four. I mean, we've got to defend as a team. I think that it's no real surprise that I think our intensity in the first half of games has been very good. And if you look at the games. Most of the time at half time, we're either leading or drawing. I mean, very few times are we losing. Um, and I think that our intensity in the second half has dropped because I think in some of the games we think we're too comfortable. It might be a mentality type thing, which is harder to change. Um, and then we'll f- find it difficult to pick that pace back up in the second half. Now, we've done it in certain occasions, but certainly over this sort of three game period, we've not managed to do that. So. Um, I think it's about keeping concentration levels for the full 90 minutes, but also making sure that that second half performance is as good as the first. So you're sure that that's a mentality problem, well, not a problem, but it comes down to mentality rather than physicality and the fitness of the player? There's absolutely no correlation between the fitness at all because, well, I've had it studied to the point where you can't study it anymore. Our output in the second half is the same or even more at times as it is in the first half. So it's how we go about it. Um, in terms of concentration levels and working smart rather than working hard, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, that, we've done a lot of work on that in the last week in terms of how we move about the pitch as a unit 
and how we go about getting the ball back and retaining the ball and, and different things like that. The dressing room's always been together, it always will be together, that's just part of football and anyone who's played football will know that the dressing room is probably the best place to be. When things ain't going well outside, not just in sport, in general life, that the only way out of it is coming into football and forgetting about things, seeing your mates and that's what we do, we come in here, see our mates, we work hard and that's all we do so hopefully, pe people will talk, people don't, people don't really know what goes on in here, they can't see nothing that goes on in here so they don't know how we socialise and when we go around each other's houses and go trick or treating together with all the kids and that, they don't see that but that's something that we do so we don't need to sort of worry about that. Whether it's ski or sun, slopes or sand, fly from Norwich this winter. The Pink and Show, sponsored by Flybee.